Everyone wants to sell their home for top dollar, but you don't do it by pricing your home high, you do it by limiting your days on market. Hi, I'm Sherry Mills with Michael Saunders and welcome to another episode of Live to Give. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to price your property at top dollar and what I'm about to show you may surprise you. So here's how it works. You'll receive the most amount of showings in that first two week period of time because you're the new kid on the block and everyone wants to see you. And after about 30 days, you become stale and no one wants to come and see you because they're wondering what is wrong with this property that is still on the market. So the key is to price it smartly right from the get go. The buzz of a new listing happens because of a certain mindset. And it's a mindset that if it's really good, it's gonna go quick. And so people are thinking, what happens if someone else scoops up my dream house? So you get a lot of eyeballs in the very first couple of weeks of listing your home. And so we gotta make the most of it. And even if you do a price reduction down the road, you're not gonna have as much attention as you do in those initial couple weeks. So let's get in a buyer's shoes for just a moment. If you're a buyer looking for property, as I often am, and you see the number of days on market, it's human nature that the longer the days on market is, the lower you're gonna start your initial offer. And so the strongest offers will be right after you list because it's just human nature that if you see property on the market for let's say 90 days, you're gonna go way below what you would have in those first two weeks. So let's look at this another way. Let's say you have two homes and they're exactly the same, the same asking price, same square footage, bedrooms, bath, finishes. If one's been on the market for 120 days and the other one's been on the market for two weeks, you're gonna offer more money for that home that's been on the market for just two weeks. It's just human nature. So for this reason, you don't wanna overprice your house and test the market because the days on market are gonna end up hurting you. And like I said, even if you do a price reduction down the road, you're not gonna have as many eyeballs on you as you do from the start. Have you ever seen a property online that actually sold higher than their asking price? Well, if you have, they probably use this strategy. So you'd get your comps and you determine what the market value is with your real estate agent. And then you price it at or slightly below market value. And what happens is in those two magical weeks when the property is new and there's all this attention on it, people get excited and you start getting offers. And nine times out of 10, it's gonna be in a multiple offer situation and your sales price is actually gonna be higher than your asking price. So it's a really effective strategy that I've seen work over and over again in the almost two decades I've been in this business. I hope you found this video helpful and you learned a little bit about the days on market and its impact on your ending sales price. And if you need a guide in the Sarasota market, I'd be happy to assist you. My name is Sherry Mills with Michael Saunders and Company, and thanks for watching another episode of Live to Give. 